Is that is that together, yeah? It's a onesie, bro. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> no. Hello. Right. Okay. Yeah, good, good. We've got like the best collection of kits to basically tell your life story. We've got a little gift for you. It's the England from the year you was born. Okay. Do you, want to, do you want to pop it on? What do you think like just makes a good kit? I think for me, the brighter the colour, for me, it's the better, I think. I like it quite tight fitted, not baggy. This one is the fuller one from the year you was born as well. I was going to wear this, but it looked, it looked that, crazy. That was too baggy for me. So starting off here, this guy here. Yes, Gerard. I remember watching videos of Gerard number 17, I think. There's one goal I remember, I think he scored against Everton at Goodison Park. It was a scream or rap footage shot. Yeah, but yeah, I remember this kit. Did you ever have a Gerard kit? Yeah, I did. I had this, this one? This, this one, one, yeah, it was that this one. This one here? Actually, mm. it might have been this, this one, yeah, I had this one. Oh, OK. Yeah, 2000, yeah, I had that top, yeah. So wh when you had this, yeah, where did you wear it? Near, near my house to play football. So I remember uh, kicking ball. I always supported Liverpool, so my dad bought me the, the Gerard top. It was my favourite player. Tell me what you, what you think of when you see these ones here, uh, starting here. This one here. This one. Yeah, Peter Crouch, I remember this one. That's the robot years. Yeah, yeah, I remember him doing, yeah, I remember that celebration. When I look at this shirt, I think of Messi straight away. I remember Messi scored a few goals wearing this kit. We've got some Messi ones here. I remember his first goal, I think it was Ronaldinho that set him up, his first goal. Um, and what, you put him on the back? Yeah, 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 that yeah, one, yeah, yeah that goal. Uh, yeah, I just remember when he burst him when he was number 19, just scoring lots of dribbled goals and stuff, so. Yeah, I remember just watching Messi on um, compilations on YouTube. Do you ever watch yourself? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I watch stuff that I've done what, in my confidence back and stuff. So do you think like a, a great player wearing a shirt holds, gives the shirt a bit more clout? Yeah, 100%. I think you see so many people in the streets wearing Messi shirts because it's Messi, so I don't think it's only because of the colour and the team, it's more the player as well. Cool, so let's go back here. Yeah, this one, straight away, I think of Gareth Bell. This was the season, I think, that really started his career, I think. Remember the goal he scored against Inter Milan? Yeah, taxi Rangers. for Michael. Yeah. This kit, um, yeah, I think his surging runs from the left really, like, it really appealed to me, especially because my position and stuff. So I really liked watching Bell. And then this one, I remember this, I think this was the season he really scored loads of goals in the Prem. So obviously, Bell started as number three, yeah. you're number three as well. Yeah. Do you see yourself making a transition to number 11? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm quite happy with my free right now at Fulham. But um, maybe, I don't know, maybe in the future, who knows. Here we got some Fulham classics playing in the academy yeah. around these times. What shirt do you, does it stick out to you that people were thinking of, like, this guy's going to be special, he's one to look out for? Has to be this one. Because this was the season before I made my debut and those, um, obviously I was training with the first team at this, this time a little bit, um, three, four times a week and that. But obviously I was still in school. But um, I was playing 18s and stuff. And I think that's when I was being noticed by the first team manager. So I would say it was this, this was the shirt where people started recognising me. Starting here, what memories stick out when you see this? Yeah, this is the shirt that I signed for Fulham all those years ago when I was nine years old. So yeah, I think that's the, that's the memory I have about this one. This is um, the one where Fulham got to Europa League final. This shirt. I remember beat. wearing this in the academy as well. And they beat these boys in the semis? Beat the big event in the semis. How was that like at the club? That was massive for the club. I think to this day, probably, I'm not sure whether it's bigger than that magnificent day. It's up there, yeah, it's up there. This one obviously is big for me because my debut top for Fulham in the first team. In terms of like your friends and your family, is like I have a cousin that plays for QPR and like, everyone's yeah. just lining up for his match day shirt. Is that the same sort of thing that's happening with you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think every time we finish the game, there's always someone that wants my shirt now. And then we got this one here. Yeah. Memories. This one I got big memories because it was last season and my best season in um, in the professional game. The big the big game at uh, Wembley. Yeah, I think this is probably my favourite. I'd have to say. We move on to England. Yeah. Go through and just tell me what your memories are. This one. Uh, that's when I made my England youth debut for Do you remember under who you played? Italy. No. USA. Was USA? What about this bad boy? I remember that. Yeah, I remember playing against USA. Um, it was in, in Florida. Oh, no, it was USA, yeah. Yeah, I remember, yeah. 
So keep going through, just tell me what you think. This one here, England currently. Like you're on the verge of getting into that, that call up. Talk to me, is it an exciting possibility for you? How do you feel about it? Yeah, I think, I think if you're young and you're English right now, you should, you should be excited for the way we're going. You saw how we've done in the World Cup. It was brilliant. And the way Gareth's going with the young players, every English young player should be excited to, to play for England. So we've got some England classics here. Just take me through them, what you think. For me, I'm not really a big fan of kits with collars on top. No? No, not really. How comes? I don't know, it just too, it looks too formal for for me ah. to, to be a football kit. So yeah. you're more you're more like these yeah, the ones yeah. you're wearing right now? More like that, yeah. Casual, more casual. What about these training jackets? Could you imagine like coming to training in one of these? Nah, not for me. Do you reckon you could pull it off? No, no chance. <laughs> no ch <laughs> nah. Sancho, yeah, that's my boy, my guy. Um, again, another top exciting player. I think it's brilliant for young English players to go abroad, especially if they can't get the opportunity here in England. I think he's done the, the right decision to go to Germany and play, and you see now he's getting opportunities to play and he's showing why he's so good. And how, do you, how do you stay in contact with him? Is it a group? Is it a WhatsApp group chat? Is uh, it Snapchat. pro clubs and FIFA? No, Snapchat, WhatsApp. Um, so when we meet up for the national team, obviously he's been with the seniors and like, we see each other there and stuff, so. Must have played against this guy here. Hazard, yes. How was that like for you? <sighs> he's unbelievable. In 1v1s, he's probably one of the best I've seen. So we've got this weird one here. Is that, is that together, yeah? <laughs> Onesie, bro. Oh, I don't think, <laughs> nah. What are they thinking? I think they played like four games and then FIFA said, nah. Yeah? Yeah. Camaro. It's not for me. What, what teammate would you say could pull this one off? In Fulham? If you had one, yeah. Fulham, England. It has to be, in our team, I'll say um, Frank and Giso, because he's from Cameroon, I think. <laughs> So, Has he got the style, though? He's got the style, yeah. He's got the style, definitely, to, to wear this, 100%. Yeah. We've got this one here, weird one. What do you think of that? See, see this, to put, I don't understand it, really. <laughs> so if you're in a burning building out of all these shirts that we've looked through, which one would you save? It has to be this one, simply because it's the greatest day of my life. 